Reminder of the lineup then for Heat 12. Romano Hummel on back to back wins coming into this one. Chris Harris started the meeting strongly but has faded in his recent rides. Hinex Dickow, the lowest scorer of this quintet, but a winner in Heat 5. Kenneth Hansen with an opportunity to book his place in today's grand final with a win. He's dropped just a single point to Romano Hummel in Heat 4. And Zach Feitnick goes off the outside gate. Six points from his two most recent outings. Takes up on Heat 12 and a poor start off the inside from the reigning world champion Romano Hummel. And it's Hinex Stickauer who's the first to show. The lowest scorer of the five riders in this race. It's Stickauer who powers across the path of Zach Weitnick. Harris coming through for second place. Weitnick with the momentum will now try to respond down the inside around turns three and four. Topsy turvy start to this race. The three lowest scorers are the three riders at the head of the field and two of the best performers in this meeting thus far. Kenneth Hansen and Romano Hummel stranded out at the back. Zach Weitnick preferring the inside line. So far, he manages to use it to find his way through on Chris Harris for second position. Important battle between those two riders, both on six points, coming into their fourth ride. Harris locking up off turn two, and that leaves it as things stand as a duel between the Czech Republic's Hinek Stikauer in white and Great Britain's Zach Weitnick in green. Weitnick preferring the inside. Stikauer on the outside. Harris trying to follow in his tyre tracks. Stikauer going wider and wider and locks it up slightly off turn four. Went too far for the dirt and Zach Weitnick has capitalised on the shortest route around this Muldorf Oval and has come through for the race lead. He's now going to have to try and defend it. Didn't move far enough off turn two and Stickauer simply put the back wheel in the dirt once again to recover the race lead. So Stickauer, twice besieged by Zach Weitnick, is still your race leader. Chris Harris coming back into the race now and Romano Hummel as well, preferring the Zach Weitnick approach, creeping round the curb. Harris in for the dirt, could either end up first or fourth here. He pulls alongside Zach Weitnick at the start of the final lap. Cuts around Weitnick and down the inside now of Sticker, an opportunity for Harris to go from third to first. Chris Harris squeezing up Hinek Stickauer, but Stickauer will not be denied. Harris pulls back alongside him down the back straight. Stickauer versus Harris, who is bravest into turn three. Harris almost accelerating into the top bend, hits the dirt and now escapes away. Romano Hummel through on Hinek Stickauer for second place. Zach Weitnick pulling up with mechanical problems. Close in the run down to the line as Romano Hummel comes from nowhere, from fourth up into second. But Chris Harris just about holds on. And now we've got an odd looking race for the consolation point as Kenneth Hansen, top of the meeting leaderboard, having dropped just a single point from his opening three rides, manages to come through for a consolation point at the expense of the unfortunate Zach Weitnick. A race leader at one stage there. In the end, it was the other Brit, Chris Harris, who found his way through once again impressively. Shades of his performances in Zhezhov last time out as he claims heat number 12.